Hey everyone, today I wanted to do another craft hoard video, this time going through my jewelry stuff. Today I want to make some stacked necklaces, or I guess a stack necklace. So let's go see if I have this stuff. Alright, so here we go into the jewelry drawer. Eh, it's still a little bit organized compared to what was there last time, but it could be better. Anyway, let's go look to see what I have. I want it to be gold, so I need gold stuff. I have these gold seed beads. Okay, I'm gonna keep digging through here and figure out what I need, and I'll meet you back up at the workbench. So the one thing that I was really looking for when I was doing my raid was a layered necklace clasp thing. In my initial craft hoard raid, I did not find it, but spoiler alert, I ended up finding it right at the end. Unfortunately, it's silver, so it doesn't match the gold theme that I ended up going with for the rest of the necklaces. But fortunately, since this is the clasp part, it's going to be mostly unseen because it's going to be on the back of my neck. I started with the middle necklace. I decided to do a simple necklace with a little charm. I'm using this style of chain. It's not really the like normal like link chain that you get. It's more of like a snake or box type, I guess. I'm not really sure how to explain it. But basically, you can't really attach a jump ring to the end of the chain because it doesn't really have like a loop for you to loop into it. So it comes with these crimp end bead things for the ends. I cut the chain to length. I didn't really measure per se, I kind of just put it around my neck and eyeballed how long I wanted it and then cut it from there. And then from that, I did the measurements for the other necklaces too. So you could be really precise with it and measure if you want, but I just kind of did it by eye. I slid the charm on, this cute little cactus charm, and then I crimped the crimp ends onto the ends. These have a little loop so that you can easily Put your jump ring and clasps on. You really want to give these a good squeeze to make sure that they're holding on to the chain well. So then I attach jump rings and clasps to both ends, which I later replace with lobster clasps because I prefer lobster clasps better than these like circle clasp things. And once that was done, on to the next necklace. For this one, I went with another thin chain, but this style of chain is a lot easier to attach jump rings to. So I didn't need any crimp ends, and I could actually space the beads out and attach them to specific links on the chain. The beads I went for with this layer are these pointy ones. I thought it was fitting to go with the cactus charm. I went with five beads spaced about an inch apart. So since the chain was on the smaller side, I did have to make the links a little bit more round where I wanted to attach the beads. Chain links are usually pretty oval, but since this was such a tiny chain, it made the hole too small to fit the jump rings in, at least the size jump rings that I have. So I used a sewing needle and pulled it through the link to help open up the middle space just enough to thread the jump rings through. Once all the beads were on, I attached the clasps to the ends. Again with this one, I switched them out for lobster clasps later. And finally, the last necklace. I wanted to do one layer that was just completely gold seed beads. And for this layer, I just used string. I didn't have any more crimp beads with the loop at one end, but I had normal crimp beads. So for this one, I threaded on a crimp bead, threaded a lobster clasp, and then threaded the string back through the crimp bead, and then crimped it, locking the lobster clasp in place. I threaded a needle onto the other end of the string and started threading the beads on. Once I reached the end, I threaded another crimp bead on, then the lobster clasp, threaded the string back through the crimp bead, and crimped the bead to lock the clasp in place. To make sure the string stayed locked in place, I added a dab of super glue to each crimp bead. And the necklaces were done. I can wear these separately if I wanted, 
or I could connect them to the stacked necklace clasp thing. And for this thing, I simply just added a lobster clasp onto one end so that I could hook it to the other end to connect it. Looking back at this, you probably could just make the necklaces with normal necklace ends with a lobster clasp on one end and then a jump ring on the other. And then on the stacked necklace clasp thing, you could add lobster clasps onto the loops onto one side so that you can connect that side to the jump ring end of the necklace and then the lobster clasp onto the other side of the stacked necklace thing if that makes any sense. But whatever. The way I did it here works too, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, the links to those will be down below. Here are some featured projects from the Cheslin DIY hashtag. If you want your stuff up here along with these people, then share your stuff on the Cheslin DIY hashtag on Twitter or Instagram. I love seeing what you guys do. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you like my videos and have learned something from them, please consider supporting me on Patreon to help me continue to make them. It's totally optional, I'll still be making videos either way, it just helps me be able to put out better stuff. A link will be down below, or you can just click up here in the corner.